Thank the member and call the member for Ryan. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. 75 years ago today, Australia was marred with the loss of 350 lives during the fierce sinking of HMAS Perth. In the days before the Battle of Sunder Strait, the American, British, Dutch and Australian allies lost five ships to the Battle of the Java Sea. Narrowly escaping this battle was HMAS Perth and USS Houston, who sadly met their match on the eve of the 28th of February 1942. A fierce battle broke out when the Perth was sighted by the Japanese. The Perth and the Houston were faced with an at-strength Japanese force, and they were fully armed as opposed to the Allies, who had depleted uh, arms from their recent battle in the Java Sea. So at approximately 20 minutes later than 12.25 a.m., they were sunk in the sea. During the battle, it was reported by the Japanese that 85 torpedoes were expended. At the time of her loss, the Perth Company totaled 681 naval personnel, and my uncle Lloyd was one of those 681 sailors. To this day, he remains with his ship, 35 metres of water below in the Java Sea, never to see his family again. Perhaps he was lucky not to have met the perils of the Japanese prisoner of war camps, where the 328 survivors were taken captive. Of those survivors, only 214 returned home at the end of the war. I have recently received emails from Lloyd's daughter Anne and my cousins, dismayed at the lack of official recognition of the Perth. And the Commonwealth War Graves Commission does not consider the shipwreck to be a war grave. Madam Deputy Speaker, the Battle of Sunder Strait, this time 75 years ago, remains not only a significant event in the Pacific War Theatre, but also in Australian maritime history. My family affiliation with HMAS Perth is not unique, and I can assure members here today that I will continue to advocate for official recognition for those still resting beneath the water. We are a proud country. We are proud of our past and our present veterans. We are a country proud of those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. No one should ever forget the liberties and freedoms afforded to each and every Australian as a result of our armed forces. Madam Deputy Speaker, a veteran is a veteran and a grave is a grave. So whether you fell on the shores of Gallipoli or the Sunder Strait, or whether you are under six foot of Turkish soil or 35 metres of the Java Sea, every war grave must be recognised. Whether the crew of the Perth may be, I thank them. I pay my respects and I hope that we can give them and their families peace, lest we forget. I thank the member.